okay so in this session we are going to discuss about uh, folder structure of the crxd so for opening a crxd we just simply have to click here and here we have a crxd light you can just uh, go through this tools otherwise you can just simply type this crx and slash de okay so firstly crxd is nothing but the content repository extreme development environment this is the first thing second one it's a id so id basically we use for developing our code okay it may be a front end or it may be a back end so we need some platform for creating the website okay so that's why we are using this crxd and it's a lightweight why it is a lightweight here you see this is our chrome and inside this is nothing but browser only and in our browser this crxd is running so we can say it's a lightweight okay and here we can create lot of uh, functionality or the concept that is present in our aem just like a template we can create in our crxd if you want to create a components okay so you can create it so here you see here here we have search bar here we have a logo here we have a crxd light name here we have a tools lot of these things we have here at the right hand side we have a login functionality so this is nothing but the header so this one is also come under the component okay so this component if you want to create it so you have to create here inside our crxd only okay so here we have a lot of folder structure the first thing apps okay so this is nothing but our apps so here when you will create a project your project will store or hold inside this apps folder okay your folder will store inside this apps after that here we have a components path see so this one is a vretail okay here we have a vretail project see and now you guys are thinking like why i have created this project because of this project i am seeing this website so here i am just clicking and you want to see the sites you can just simply click here yeah so once you will click there so it will open this content this content folder it will open here you see this is the content folder so where from where this folder it has coming so here you see inside that we have a content folder as well see this is nothing but our content folder so whatever it has present here all these thing we are saying here okay that's saying and here inside that we have a actual content here you see image we have this is the v retail okay and inside this when i will open any one from this so here these are nothing but the pages of our website and this one is our website so if i try to click here and try to open it i'll see some websites here i'll see some interfaces okay so from where this gui it has coming so all this thing all our component it has storing inside this apps folder and here i have this project where it is this vretail this vretail it's a project and here we have a client lips okay this is the client lips we have so if you want css and html if you want to write the css and html we have to write inside this client lips we have to create a client lib and we have to use the css and html after that here we have a components so whatever we have discussed till it about component it's present inside this component folder so here we have a content like here you see if you need a button somewhere you will see like somewhere you will see the button so from where this button it has coming from this component if you want a carousel yeah a uh, checkout form so this is the customized that i have created but here we have a out of the box as well just like a title text so these are it has rendering here simply it's taking some time okay so app will store and here some out of the box component it has present so basically we have two types of component first one is a core and second one is a foundation so core component you will see inside this apps folder okay so this is nothing but our core component core we can say it's a advanced or latest component okay we have two types of component core and the foundation foundation that means old and the legacy so our own new component will store inside this core uh, inside this core folder it's taking some time okay after that we have a bin bin inside this bin we don't have anything okay inside this bin we don't have anything we have to refresh i think so okay so it has opened the 
apps so after that here we have a bin so inside this bin we don't have anything so this is just temporarily they have created and this one is for the binary data so all your binary data will store inside this bin after here we have a config so this is nothing but our config folder and why we use this config folder just come here uh, go in your home page of your AEM so we just simply have to type localhost and 4502 okay so uh, this is nothing but our home page it has it's not opening because of some reason so that's why I just went here so here we have a tools option inside this tool here we have general and comment down so when you will comment down you will see this configuration browser okay so why I am just opening this con configuration browser because of inside this configuration browser you can create more than one concept that is present in our AEM so all these things will store inside this CRX delight okay in your config folder mostly like we'll use a template for making a website uh, for making a page okay what we need we need a template so this template will create inside this configuration browser okay and once you will create inside this configuration browser it will store in this config instead of that right now we are using a 6.5 so we don't have a graphql functionality we have to download the package but when you will use the cloud there we have a cloud functionality as well that means graphql so you can also use this graphql you can create this graphql in your configuration browser and it will store indirectly in your config folder with that we have a content fragment model as well okay so you can create here and it will store in your config after that once it will done here we have a content folder and this is the main okay this becomes your controller okay so it act as a controller so this is the main so whatever website and everything you are saying see it has rendering to the content only okay all this website is rendering to a content and because of this content we are seeing actual GUI okay so once you will create a project automatically inside this content it will create this types of see so I have created this project by using a Maven this holiday project see so here this folder structure it will create automatically like whatever folder you are saying like here we have a uh, holiday US Ian Elon then whatever it is so all these things it has automatically created once you will create a project here click here and here you see these are our pages okay these are nothing but our pages so once you will create the pages here all these pages we have to go back sites so here we have a sites see this is the pages we have so once you will try to create any page here it will automatically create in your vRetail so like here we have a vRetail so if you have created inside this us so it will automatically create so that that means we can say it's a creating a project structure that means page structure automatically okay and all our actual content is stored in our content folder okay. content folder is done this one is a etc it is that means we can say it's extra okay extra that means when you will download some third party now i i have already spoke about graphql okay so click here uh, graphql that means it's not present in our 6.0 now okay 6.5.0 this graphql functionality is not present okay so if i want to download so if uh, basically when you will download so it will store inside the general only when you will come at down you will get you will see the graphql okay but not a graph i'm just giving an example so when you will download so some extra this is the extra part so it will store inside this etc folder so whatever you are downloading from the browser or somewhere this tool will store inside this etc folder so we have one concept that is acs commons so when we get this package from the internet so once you will download so whatever it has present inside this acs commons package so all these things will store inside this etc okay that's it home home that may it just simply for the users and the groups so initially when i was came here so i have type here admin username and the password is also admin 
so from where it has coming this username and password so it has it has stored inside this home okay it's stored inside this hold home and here we have a user so all your users will store here we can create our own user not only the see that uh, admin and admin is the administrator okay but you can create your own username and the password as well so where it will store indirectly it will store in your home folder okay in this users but if you have more than one users and you want to organize okay so you can just create one group and you can store inside that so in that case we have to go with this group folder okay uh, we have a libs and this is the main thing why i am saying it's a main because all the out of the box thing it has present inside this library okay inside this library all over out of the box things it has presence like i have talk about the old component that means foundation so foundation component will store inside this leaves folder okay and uh, core component that means new component it has store in our apps okay so not only the apps if you want to create a form related fields just like here you see when i'm just clicking here so this is also a field okay and when i'm just clicking here that means i'm just clicking on the button so all this functionality like this types of field if you need so it has present inside this libs only okay so this is the main one and oak index we have so basically why we are using this oak index now i just want to search a result i just want to find out something okay from my crxd like how many components i have in my project or in my crxd okay and it has returning a more than 1 lakh result okay result it has returning more than 1 lakh okay so that's why when it has returning more than 1 lakh so it will throws the traversing error okay one error it will throw that is uh, it is saying like we can't travel more than 1 lakh okay so that time for reducing or uh, yeah for overcome this drawback we'll use this oak index so we have to create a oak index and we we can reduce it okay these are the exception parts we have a system okay don't try to edit something from your system folder okay because it's related to a system okay don't mess with it after that here we have a temp and the var folder so basically temp is just for the temporary space okay and var is just simply for the temporary data so in our var we have one concept that is workflow okay so it's stored inside this var so it's for the temporary data only not for the perman permanent it's just for the temporary here after that this one this is the temporary space so whenever if you want to recreate or you want to restart your am so it's take the help from this temp folder okay and if you want to search anything you can just simply come here and you can search okay sometimes it's it's very difficult to find out the path okay so you can just search here and uh, see main thing is like when i just opening here you here you are seeing this symbol this is nothing but the node okay and your crxd store the data in the form of jcr so firstly okay we have a jcr jcr is nothing but the java content repository okay java content repository and uh, it store the data in the form of repository so that's why at the last we have appended repository so here you are saying like we have a apps inside this apps we have our projects maybe it may be anything like very little i'm going and here we have a component see this is nothing but the repository only no content we have inside this content here we have a components and inside this component here we have a properties and property it has storing the data in the form of key and the value pair okay so whenever you will see this symbol it's representing a node okay and node so we have to create just simply right click here now i'm just showing right click here and here we have options of the create and create a node so once you will create a node you have to select the type and it's perform the main role type is performing a main role okay no so which types of node you want to create we have a lot of nodes here you see we have a lot of nodes so which node we want to create so we have to create it but 
especially if you want to create a component because mostly we are using a component only so you can create a component if you want dialog templates and folders and files then you can directly create it okay you can create from node as well okay so if you are see now you are saying like if i try to create a component so is that component node yes this one as well uh, this one is also a node see i'll show you when you will create here see they have already created this so once you will click here see it has representing as a node only and uh, here we have a type jcr primary type and this is cq components okay after that now if you want to search something okay query related thing if you want to search it then they have provided uh, provided the extra tool as well okay so here we have a query you can just simply click here and you can perform the queries as well see if you want to use a sql sql2 and the xpath you can use it sql has deprecated because uh, the same thing it has performing in sql2 with with flexibility okay so that's why we are using this sql2 so if you want you can search it here okay this is the query related things okay so that's it and here we have a packages so if any third party like some project you want to download okay you want to run in your am so we have to upload this project okay in a format zip in zip format so here you have to click and you have to download it any project and you can just simply browse it and just click okay so you will see this project in your sites here in this sites you will see your projects okay so i think that's all about the crxd